Welcome to DashboardSymbols.com. Here we will demonstrate opening and starting all push button start Hyundai sedans and SUVs with dead batteries in their key fobs. There are four ways to get inside and nearly a half dozen backup start variations, but we will get you in and started. To get inside, we will first need the mechanical key hiding in the fob. Look for the release button on the face of the key fob or on the back of the newer fob. Press and hold the button and pull the key ring, removing the mechanical key. If the key cylinder is visible at the back of the driver's door handle, insert the mechanical key in turn and you're in. However, most newer models are hiding the keyhole. The most common style looks like this with a cap at the back of the driver's door handle that needs to be removed. Beneath it, you'll find a slot with a black button like this one poking through. You can use the mechanical key to push the button upwards. The moment you do so, the cap is free to be pulled away along with the key. I actually used a fingernail on one, but the key is handy. The key cylinder is exposed, so you can now use the mechanical key to unlock the door. Note that the button below the cap on the newest Sonata is painted the same color as the car, but it works the same way. Newer Santa Fe and the new Palisade models have a one-piece door handle. There is a thin strip of trim in the center, as shown, that needs to come free to expose the keyhole. Pull the handle to the open position. Look for this small rectangle right behind the handle. It has the same black button inside. It is very difficult to see, and in fact we had to open the door to get it on video. In any case, push the button with the mechanical key. This frees the cover, which can then be removed with a fingernail while holding pressure on the button. Again, with the keyhole exposed, use the mechanical key to unlock the door. Finally, we spotted a model called Nexo at a car show that never seems to have made it to Hyundai's lineup. In any case, if you have one, push the front of the door handle in and then pull the back of the handle out fully to expose the keyhole. Once inside, note that if you do not have any interior lights or other electronics working, the car's main 12-volt start battery may be dead and you will need roadside assistance, but it won't hurt to give the following a try. An attempt to start the car fails, so we'll need a backup method to get the car to recognize the key fob. Beginning in 2013, Models were updated so that a simple touch of the back of the key fob against the start stop button is all that is needed, so give it a try. If it works, the car will start as normal. Some models are not updated until 2015 or 16. So if this doesn't work, or if the car is actually older, look for a slot like this one to physically insert the key fob. It will be either at the front of the center console, behind the door just above the console, or on the left side of the glove box. Insert the key fob with the buttons up or towards the glove box and start as normal, pushing the start stop button while stepping on the brake. The car recognizes the fob even though the fob's internal battery is dead and starts and you'll be underway. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs. For help with other keyless or push button start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel or go to dashboardsymbols.com.